Plants adapted to deserts. In this module, you will learn how plants adapt to deserts. This vacation, Sid and Alicia have come to visit a desert with their parents. The desert is such a hot and dry place. It seems there is no water here. Yes, but see, there still are plants around here. Kids, the deserts receive very little rainfall, because of which they have very little water, and that too, very deep underground. In spite of such scarcity of water, deserts do have plants. Are you wondering how these plants survive in deserts? Cactus, palm, and acacia are the most common plants found in deserts. These desert plants have special adaptations, which help them to survive in such dry conditions of a desert. Let's discuss these adaptations by considering the example of a cactus plant. A cactus plant has a thick green stem. The thick stem stores water in it when water is available. This stored water helps the plant to survive when water is not available. In addition, the stems also have a waxy coating, which prevents the loss of water from them. You can also notice that a cactus has no leaves. Actually, the leaves in cactus are reduced to spines. This is an adaptation of this plant to prevent the loss of water that occurs through the pores in the leaves called stomata. Since a cactus has no leaves, it carries out photosynthesis with its green stem. So, the food for the cactus plant is made in its green stem. Just like stem and leaves, the roots of the cactus are also adapted to the desert. The roots are spread out wide and deep into the ground. This helps the plants to absorb more and more water from the ground. With the help of all these adaptations, a cactus survives in deserts. In the same way, other desert plants are also adapted to the environment. Let's recap. Desert plants have some special adaptations that help them to survive in the dry conditions of the desert. A cactus plant is adapted to the desert by having a thick and green stem to store water, a waxy coating on stem to prevent loss of water, leaves that are reduced to spines to prevent loss of water through stomata. The roots are spread out wide and deep into the ground to absorb more and more water.